Sophia was so excited. The new video that she had posted on TikTok had gone viral. She was so happy and wanted to spread the news with her family. But they didn't quite get what the hype was all about. So Tia just went into her room and she got some snacks to celebrate by herself. She didn't really have any friends with whom she could share the news with. She felt lonely at times, but she knew it was going to be okay. She had learned to cope with her loneliness long ago. To her surprise, so many people were now duetting her video. She was excited, but also a little bit scared. It was a video where she was trying to promote self-love by kissing herself in the mirror. Tio couldn't keep up with all of it. So many positive comments and people supporting her. She was so happy. One of the girls duetting her video was Samara. Samara also DM'd her and they seemed to have some chemistry together. As they got to know each other, they both found out that they don't have any other friends and they both live in cities that are quite undeveloped where they don't find themselves in anything. They don't have anything to connect to and can't find any similarity with the people there. That's why they spend most of the time alone. They also love the reasons they both use their social media for. TikTok allows them to be themselves. They show what they stand for and don't have to fake a personality on. Whereas in their cities, they cannot be themselves. On TikTok, they feel like they have a voice and are also connecting with other people who stand for the same things. This increases their self-confidence and makes them feel better about themselves. As they were getting to know each other every day and more, they started to also FaceTime each other. They felt so free and at home to talk about anything to each other, even coming to a point where they told their secrets and that really made them happy. Since their accounts were growing and becoming quite international, they were also getting negative and hate comments. There were also people that were not supporting what they were standing for. Especially some boys from Tio's school actually bullied her by making an account to ridicule everything that she was doing, just so they could bring her down. She wasn't happy at all. She knew that this would happen sooner or later, but Tio didn't feel as bad. Samara was always there to bring her moods up, and actually she inspired her to respond with a video where she addresses the negativity and replies with love. Tia felt so grateful for her friend. She knew that without her, all of this would affect her so much more because she didn't have anyone else with whom she could be herself with. They both felt like they were soulmates, like they were each other's protective angels. Also, they met each other at the right time. Since they were getting so close with each other and their biggest desire and goal was to study abroad and leave their country once and for all, they had this idea about studying abroad together. Only the idea of it excited them, so they started to make this bucket list of the things that they would try. It was a big list where they would put something on every day. Places they would visit, adventures, things to buy, new experiences, and all of that. All of this gave them hope and especially made them feel accepted. They were forever grateful to have found each other.